Hey, what's up? Hello, I'm playing Minecraft. Hey, did you, no, calm down, calm down. Sit back down. It's okay, it's okay. I know that work gets you excited. We've talked about this. Let's, let's calm down. Take deep breaths, it's okay. Anyway, yeah, I'm playing Minecraft. But get this. One update at a time. Very original concept, I know. But in all seriousness, this is inspired by Paladin Ryan's Evolution series. We're gonna be starting out here in early alpha and moving all the way up into the present day. Oh, uh, gosh, wait, um, series name, right, um, uh, what was Paladin Ryan's? It was, it was Evolution, right, um, welcome to Minecraft Generations. Yeah, I know, just, uh, whatever. Welcome, everybody. Assuming I put that voiceover and scripted speech at the beginning that I'm planning on doing later, then you already know what I'm doing. If not, then I'm not explaining. Now you may notice things are looking a little bit more green than you're probably used to. Alpha Minecraft is very unstable. The game is prone to a lot of freezing and crashing, which you'll see later. Welcome to Alpha V1.0 17 underscore 04. It's a little bare bones, but you know what? This is this is a humble beginning, okay? Punch a sheep for wool, who cares? You know? And I believe I'm going to set up right around here. This is a very nice area. Now usually, whenever I make a Minecraft world, I walk around for a couple hours looking for a good spot, get bored, and then leave the game. But, I can't do that here because, back in the good old days of Alpha, beds don't exist. So by extension, spawn points do not exist. See, that's kind of an issue. I like spawn points. I'm sure you do too. Unless you play hardcore, in which, keep it to yourself, I don't want to hear about it. So, um, we're gonna be freeballing it for a while here. But you know what? This is where it all starts. This little rinky-dink wooden pickaxe. I've got big plans. I've got big plans for this world. I've got a lot of builds in mind. None of them look good. But, it's the heart and soul that counts, right? I see a lot of people uh, mod in the FOV slider and some just like quality of life like the shift click and stuff for um, crafting. I'm not gonna do that, I don't think, because I feel like that's disingenuous to the challenge itself. You know, I came here to play Malfa Minecraft and I'll I'll take the ball torture that comes with it, you know? This is a incredibly nice place to live, wow. Look at that view. Grinded a lot to get here. And we're gonna save that pickaxe for later. We're not getting rid of this. This is the uh, this is the alpha. You know what I mean? Alpha Omega. You ever heard of that? It's a Pokemon game. A couple of Pokemon games. Uh, if you want to look at it that way. But other than that, it uh, means the beginning and the end. Or if you're part of that online sphere, the alpha is like an alpha male, and the omega is like well, the omega is not really anything, is it? This world generation. It, it strikes a chord. You know, the floating sand above the water, it's... that really strikes a chord, you know? Oh, what is that? Wow. Bro's got the gray top. Look at what my barber did to me. That's embarrassing. I've been playing the beta quite a bit, beta 1.7.3. That seems to be the most popular version before the whole controversial update. But man, I, I honestly really do prefer the eating to heal without the hunger bar. I think each version has its own merit, you know? I'm not gonna say one version's better than the other, and I'm not gonna say, you know, modern Minecraft is bad or anything, but I think they're they're good in their own ways. But recently I've been seeing a lot of, you know, downfall of Minecraft videos. You know, Mojang is terrible. You know, nothing different from usual, really. We are very quickly closing in on how many items exist in this version. There we go. Uh, but, you know, on that note, I think Majong gets a lot more criticism than it deserves, really. Could Majong be doing better? For sure. Majong definitely has done some pretty horrible decisions, obviously, with the whole you know, the chat reporting system and a lot of the ways they've managed their updates in the community. Get a couple of chests down, and those are now facing the wrong way. Thank you. Well, that's a good feature. But, you know, as I was saying, there seems to be this um, increasing trend in the last couple of years, especially in an increase of negativity and this kind of hopeless air on the internet. You know, I think a lot of it is caused by a lot of, you know, real world problems. There's been a lot of issues lately. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that, of course. 
Um, but it just seems that people are really down in the dumps and just not enjoying anything, to the degree that they were before anyway. And of course I don't mean to be like that guy, right? But I think a lot of the, the issues and you know grievances a lot of people have and the mindsets people have today are kind of self-imposed and self-perpetuating in a way, you know? I think one of the best things for the internet right now is to be more positive, honestly. The way people interact with each other on the internet has changed so much over the years too. It's just so many more pessimistic and narcissistic people now uh, than ever before, really, as far as I can tell. With that being said, I'd like to be an advocate for more positivity on the internet. So my advice to all of you, try to be a bit more positive. Enjoy things. Appreciate what you've got. Try to be kind to people. That's my advice anyway. I'm not really sure how important armor is. I'm pretty sure in these earlier versions though, every armor has the same amount of defense, just a different amount of durability. Which is really weird because I think the armor bar will display your durability instead of your actual armor. I'm not sure what the values are or how much it actually protects you, but I do know, you know, diamond armor is going to protect the same as leather armor and so it's kind of pointless, but you know. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Um, tool durability. Awful. I don't know when this happens, but at some point, I think tool durability is doubled. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Quick correction here. The armor system was a bit more complicated, but I'm not going to try to explain it. And yes, tool durability wasn't increased until beta 1.2. I watched Oppenheimer yesterday, and you know what? I'm going to be honest. I liked Oppenheimer better than Barbie. I'm sorry. I, I liked it more. Really, Barbie's saving grace was Brian Gosling. Interestingly enough, as far as the ratings go, Oppenheimer was rated R, and um, deservedly so. I'm going to be pretty straightforward with that. There is, uh, there is nudity, you know? Bazoingas. Plenty of those. But then, Barbie's PG-13 rating was also questionable, as far as language goes and humor. But yeah, it's not my problem, you know? I don't, I don't come up with that. I didn't mean to eat that. I wanted to put it in the furnace, but thank you. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, wow, okay. I'll tell you what, I, I would like to start a farm, but if you will look around, you'll notice there's no grass. I mean, there is grass, obviously. I'm not like an idiot, as far as I know. Watch this. Yeah, that's right. You get seeds from hoeing grass. Glad we have the eternal leaves here. Here to watch through the rest of the playthrough, hopefully. Man, they, I like, they're really, I mean, this is a nice area. I don't know if it's just the old world generation, like if I made another world, I'd find a spot as good as this, but man, this is nice. This is nice. I was pretty close to the front row during Oppenheimer. As soon as the bomb went off, my eyebrows got burnt off. It was crazy. I don't know if I need to state this, but that didn't actually happen, by the way. I was joking about that part. Although I do think I would probably rate the movie even higher if they did sit off an actual bomb in the theater. The animals, what, what's happening to my base? I guess they own it now. Guys, you're gonna have to move it or lose it. I'm sorry. It's come to my attention. Um, crouching does not seem to be a thing that exists in this version, as I've discovered multiple times after falling off of a ledge. Oh. That is awful. Why would you do that to me? Yep, I'm gonna be real happy once I get out of this version. Okay. This looks good. What I'd like to do, that I saw, that I've seen other people do, um, including Paladin Ryan, is to kind of have a sort of museum or display for all the blocks across the versions. I don't do this. This is complete and utter garbage and you should not listen to anything that comes out of this man's mouth. He is a liar and a deceiver. Completely ignore this. I'm only keeping this tangent in for context. I changed my mind later because I didn't feel like it. Anyway, um, watch me make a house now. Let me try to make something presentable. This is going to reek of old Minecraft. It's going to smell awful. It's going to smell awful. But like in a nostalgic way, right? It's going to smell horrible in the best possible way. I'm not into anything weird, by the way. And so I started building my first house. The first building of the series. Very monumental. I shed a single tear. Okay, I need to try something here. Does this exist? Oh. Yeah, it does. Yeah, baby. 
Okay, well, I need a bit more, but that's already looking pretty good, actually. Gonna pull off a little bit of this business. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. Ooh. Ooh, what am I looking at here? A staircase. Well, you could have fooled me, but it's a staircase. Now, you can probably see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna need more glass and more wood. Oh boy. Look at that forest. Look at that sand. That's what we call a jackpot, baby. Something very unnerving is the fact that the sand makes the grass destruction sound. Destruction. That's a bit aggressive. Okay, let me choose a different word. Gathering. Breaking. Breaking. There it is. Breaking. You know, it's actually really weird that I'm playing this now, because I was at a friend's house the other day, after watching the Barbie movie, and we actually started watching some of the old Minecraft Let's Plays on YouTube. We just started watching Yogg's Labs on, like, a flat screen TV. Eventually, we even got to eat those labs. Uh, but, you know, my bread and butter was the Yogg's Cast Survival Island. That was my stuff. Simpler times, honestly. It's really weird um, how comforting the old versions of Minecraft are. You know, and just the fact that they're so bare bones in reality. It's weird how the simplicity of it is just so enticing. Wowzers. Um, I'm kind of just going down, aren't I? I didn't even realize this, but I'm, I'm going down. One thing I love about the earlier versions of Minecraft is that skeletons are... Kind of stupid. Ow. But yeah, this series has me really excited. Oh my gosh, so scary, so dark. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, the lore. Okay. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see here, Brian. We can hope. Man, I used to be peeing my pants thinking about here, Brian. You know what I mean? Dude was scary. Steve with white eyes, say no more. Scariest thing I've ever heard of. In retrospect, you can look back on stuff like that and be like, you know, that was really stupid, wasn't it? Like, that guy had me wetting the bed at night. I know I'm not the only one who, like, would constantly look up videos of him on YouTube, like, oh my gosh. Hero Brian Shrine, real? Question mark? It was so stupid. I think one of my favorite parts about Minecraft is just the gathering phase. Like, honestly, I could just mine and do, like, nothing else for hours on end. Like, actual just brain stimulation, bare minimum. You know, like, I'm brain dead, is what I'm saying. I go underground, I see things, and I mine them, you know? Like, I'm... I'm literally an idiot, okay? I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm not a smart person. Oh, he's scary. He's scary because he's... No, oh, that's... I'm not messing with that. It was all fine and dandy till the green dude came out, and I was like, yeah. Oh, he killed his friend. It'd be your own these days. What are y'all looking down for? Look at me when I'm talking to you. You know what? I was a bit worried about iron, but that is not going to be a problem. Okay. There we go. Dripped out to the max. you love to see that. Another thing I wanted to mention, if any of you have any suggestions for things I could do in the world or things you'd like to see, you can let me know and I'll see if I can work them into my schedule. If your idea is stupid though, I won't do it. So make sure your idea is good. You wouldn't want to waste my time. These old games are something else. Kind of a weird jump in game genre, but I've actually been playing a lot of Ultra Kill lately. Amazing soundtrack, honestly. I'm a big breakcore guy, okay? I'll admit to that. Fun fact, the person who made Minecraft's soundtrack actually did make breakcore. Which is, you know, simultaneously really ridiculous, but also not that surprising. It's really weird, because it actually does kind of sound like the Minecraft soundtrack, but just break core if I... It's just Minecraft with Amen Break, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, that's a really gross oversimplification, but you know what I mean. And if you have no knowledge of break core whatsoever, which I'm, you know, pretty confident that you don't, because not a whole lot of people do, then just, I don't know, tune me out. Put your fingers in your ears. Bro. Look at me! This cave is really fine and dandy. Um, however, I'm ready to leave. Butter my buns and call me a biscuit. I'm getting out of here. 
I'm hearing things. Oh, ho, ho, there you are. Yes, gang fight. Yes! Oh, yeah. Zombie one because he's a real one. Whoa, buddy. You're just going to drop in? Unannounced, uninvited. Get over yourself. Get over yourself, man. You drop feathers. What is wrong with you? I'm not going to take a lip from someone who drops feathers. Bro thinks he's hard. He's not. He's not. Finally, I have a hat. Praise the Lord. Inshallah, I will put on the hat. Right, look at this. Nice cave, nice cave. Look at me fanboying over the alpha version like a freaking loser. Ah, oh, look at that. My beacon of hope. My base is so beautiful. Just gonna glaze myself a little bit, you know? Sometimes you gotta glaze yourself up. Why'd my dude just start tap dancing? I, I did not ask for him to do that. Don't shoot at me, I'll speed walk away. Sometimes you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and just insult yourself. Really go in on yourself. And then turn around and compliment yourself. We want you to develop a complex here. We want you to be in an abusive relationship with yourself, you know? Beat yourself down just to pick yourself back up again. Make you need yourself, you know? Therapy is a CIA PSYOP, okay? They're just trying to gather your information. Don't move at me. Really? Try putting your horns on your head before you start talking to me, buddy. Huh? Huh? Put some respect on my name. Ashlocks. Maybe there'll come a day where I can get my furnace to face the right direction. Not today, though, clearly. Seeing as we're poor and we're losers, um, the floor for now is white. Too poor to afford checkered flooring. It is what it is. Do I like the way that looks or do I not like the way that looks? I'm gonna need you guys to answer this in the comments for me. I have no sense of direction. I have no sense of free will. I need you to make decisions for me. Okay. I hate to tell you guys this. We don't have glass panes. Tear it all down. It's stupid. Did that just destroy all of my coal? I think that just destroyed all of my coal. Wow, okay. Don't grow outside my window. Right in front of my crafting table, too. Really. I th Oh, yeah. Okay. This is... Oh, okay. Get these stupid stairs out of here. If I would like to... Oh, thank goodness all my trees are growing and immediately dying for some reason. I, I don't care. If I can just do this, that would be perfect. Okay. Yeah, that works. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Oh, you'd love to see it. Okay, yeah. That's homie. That's Wholesome 100. Okay. Hey, it's me, Narrator Ashton again. How's it hanging? I feel like we never get to see each other these days. Let's speed this up a bit because I ramble way too much. With the house basically finished for now, I started working on an underground storage and crafting area. You know what? I, I have an idea. I have an idea. It'll come in later. But essentially, what this is going to turn out to be is sort of a storage room with the chest kind of indented into the wall. The idea with this is actually something I was inspired by after watching a YouTuber named Pepper uh, recently, either earlier today or yesterday, I believe it was, I was watching one of his little tour videos and I actually saw some stuff that was pretty cool. And for now I'll just start storing junk. And there we go. That's, you know, it, it's something. Ah. Squad's pulling up on me, huh? I'm busy. I'm busy! Yeesh. Enjoying the weather. Enjoying my house, by the way. I live here. By the way. Um. You ever felt like leaving? That's always an option. Fantastic. What? Huh? 
Why do you function like that? Okay, I'm gonna cook up some food because this game is brutal. Never played a game this hard before. Ultra Kill has nothing on this. Gold Block is looking uh, mighty, mighty orange these days. Good for him. Good for him. This is the point where I started the whole block collection conquest, but we're just gonna blow right past this. We're trying to be original here, and I just couldn't do this with a clear conscience. I don't want to be like a copycat, right? I mean, it is cool to want to, you know, collect all the blocks across the versions, but I don't want to be completely unoriginal, right? I'll tell you what I would like to do for now. The block museum? Disregard it. Are you shooting arrows out of your teeth? Where's your bow, man? Man up. Bird up. It might become a later project, but for now, I'm too laid back to do something like that. This is where my indecisiveness starts showing everybody. Oh yeah, baby. It's all coming together. Y'all are gonna cream. I, I, I just have to stop talking. This path is gonna be amazing once I have it lead somewhere. Mark my words. I'm not trying to end this episode out on a non-W, so I want to get some diamonds. That's a goal of mine. A lifelong goal. Anyway, um, something I wanted to talk about recently. As of a few hours ago, I just passed a thousand subscribers. That's kind of kooky. That's kind of nutty. I'd like to thank anyone who's subscribed, and anyone who isn't, I'd like to ask why. You know, why? I really don't get it. I don't get why you'd want to hurt me in that way. But you know, I've got big plans for the channel. I'm thinking of really chilling out like crypto scams and, you know, drop shipping. I think that'd be a good next course. So much untapped potential here. I'm just saying like a Wendy's or a Walmart would look great in that spot. Mushrooms? What? I love Deep Rock Galactic, wow. By the way, if you're ever wanting to do this challenge yourself, there is a really good website that I'll leave in the description that actually has basically a list of every important Minecraft update, and that'll actually be the one that I'm following. I might make like a few executive decisions to maybe skip a version or two if it doesn't have anything like really important or actually significant. For the most part, I'll be trying to cover all the bases though. This game has broken me. It's broken me. But which, I mean, every cave I try to go down is a dead end, and it's kind of starting to make me tear up a little bit. This does not have me doing the Harlem Shake. Koluk Telerika, or whatever the song says, I don't know. I'm trying to remember, what were memes like at this point in time? Gangnam Style was 2013. Pretty sure Harlem Shake was also 2013, I could be wrong. Maybe 2012? Harlem Shake hasn't been something I've said in a few years, I'm not gonna lie. Probably should have kept it that way, honestly. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You guys remember that time PewDiePie did a Harlem Shake video? Back when he was good. <laughs> Nowadays, PewDiePie just posts about him being happy or whatever, and that's really bumming me out. I'm a man on the internet. I don't like seeing people happy. I hate seeing people happy. Disregard everything else I said earlier about being like a positive channel and wanting people to be happy. I take it all back. I take it all back. Y'all are not allowed to be happy unless I'm happy. You wouldn't have the gall to be happy in my presence. Hey, mushroom. Anytime I hear a skeleton make a bone noise now, I just think of that stupid video of the really skinny person twerking where somebody put like Minecraft skeleton noises over it. Very mean video. Very funny. Oh. Now this. This is scary. I need to make a video essay about this, it's so scary. Maybe I'll have my YouTube icon have his arms folded and his eyebrow raised like Boss Baby. On the Lord's holy name... He... <laughs> Poor dude. My style is so cramped right now. Hope that was worth it. Did you get the clout you're looking for? Oh! Now this, this is a place I like to be. You've got my number, baby. Ring me anytime. Okay, well, watch this, guys. 
Look at how slow this is. Ugh. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. There's diamonds behind this gravel, I can tell. I don't think I can keep suffering these losses. I don't even use redstone. I don't even like redstone. Yet here I am, letting it play with me, letting me be its toy. It's a little plaything to take advantage of, but I just can't help it. I just keep coming back for it. I need it. Oh, cave noise. Minecraft Cave Dweller Mod. I must make a video on that. I need to make Minecraft Cave Dweller Mod and title it Scariest Minecraft Mod Ever! Exclamation point question mark. Did anyone else see that? Like that one dude made that one mod and then suddenly everyone the next day just had a video about it. All like six to ten minutes long. Like barely even a video, but just like, oh my gosh. Minecraft Cave Dweller Scary, I guess. And it was like, okay. I found that mildly entertaining. I didn't watch any of them because I was like... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta put my scarf on for this one. Okay, like and subscribe. Oh my gosh. Oh lord. Yes. We did it, guys. We beat the game. He had second thoughts, I guess. He's going for a swim. Maybe it's okay. Maybe he's just having a good time. I'm not going to fault a man for having a good time. Twerk? Where did that come from? Oh, you... Yeah. Don't get your... Nuts in a twist. Ooh, mine are twisted. <laughs> Sometimes in life you need to ask yourself, are you going to be the twister or are you going to get it twisted, okay? When hell comes knocking, will you answer? Stop gargly marbles at me, I don't care. I don't know about you guys, but um... Yeah, that just happened. I felt really cool for a second there. Made me think of Smosh. Which I heard apparently bought their channel back. Good for them, good for them. They can go back to making Pokemon in real life. Are you sad? Why so down? How much do I value my life? Is my question. Well, you know what they say, don't mine at night. I think I'm gonna hang out the beans to dry and say this expedition is over. <gasps> oh, well, you know, okay. I cannot believe I just did that. Wow. You ever seen anybody do that before? I bet you haven't. And that's why you come here. Oh, my sweet heaven above. I'm really pushing my luck here. Oh gosh, my accent came out for a second. That was really embarrassing. Okay. You know, I live in the south, right? But sometimes it just comes out like really strong for no reason. And I always feel very deeply ashamed when it does. And it feels so right whenever it happens. You know, like it's just, it's like it's the right way to say it. And it just, it feels right. It's a stain on my good name. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, okay. If I don't stop pushing my luck, I'm going to be pushing daisies real quick. So, with that being said, it's about time I get out of here. I just broke his ankles. I'm getting some obsidian. I could have done something like infinitely more productive with the time it took me to do that, but you know what? I didn't. Bruh. <sighs> 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 
my undergarments are soiled. <sighs> my heart can't take this. What? Yeah, remember what I said in the beginning? Very unstable. <laughs> Not an optimal time for the game to crash. Not that there's ever an optimal time, but possibly the worst time for it to crash. Now that. That's a haul. Yogg's cast has nothing on that. That was stressful, but I think. I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. I've been playing for a few hours. Next time, I think we'll be exploring the nether a bit. There's still a few more things I'd like to do also next time. Uh, a farm would be nice, and just some more building, finishing this up a bit. And I'll be seeing you guys around. And that's gonna mark the end of this first episode. I hope you enjoyed this blast of the past, and I hope you stick around to see more. One thing I'd like to figure out is a good goal to set for each version. So there's actually a concrete reason to move on. If any of you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And maybe we can even have unique challenges for each version. I'm still figuring things out, but I can say this has been the most that I've enjoyed Minecraft in a while, and I'm excited to continue. With that being said, I'll see you guys later.